Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about a stuff function in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So about the stuff function, so function delete or sequence of character from a string and uh, then insert another sequence of character into the string and uh, starting at a specific position. So this is the syntax of a stuff function. So this is the a string here, a start here or uh, then here add underscore a string. So add here you can add the string. So let's understand by example. So I am going to use or uh, select a statement here after a stop function. So add a stop function. So this is the uh, built-in function a stop. So add a expression. This is the first parameter here, a starting position, second parameter, number of cars, and replacement expression back. So a stop function has a four parameter. Now here after let's so give four parameter at here. The first I'm going to write at here or uh, computer programming. So computer programming is my first parameter string. Here after let's give the at here a start. So that start from one. Here after I'm going to give at here four. So the length total four. And here after uh, let's give at here a uh, replacement a string. So at here I am going to enter Microsoft. So this is the replacement a string and here after as call one. And here if you execute to this query, so at here oh, that first to that start from one. So start here one and here that till go to the this position here. So C U M P U. So it replaced by Microsoft. So see at here Microsoft and here the value is start from T E R. Microsoft here after uh, Microsoft. Okay. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, 4 total uh, length is I have given 4. So at here 1, C position. At 1, at here 2 position O, 3 position M and 4 position U. So uh, that replace C O M P replaced by Microsoft. So see at here. Now Microsoft hereafter that is start from U T R. So if you want to give some space, so that will look more clear. So see at here Microsoft and hereafter or uh, this uh, four or uh, at here they start from one and here total length four. So that here four length here replaced and here the output is so displaying Microsoft U T R. So at your total length of computer is so uh, three and plus. For total length is 7. So let's give add here 7. So in place of computer, the output display Microsoft. So let's execute that one. So see add here Microsoft. Okay. Oh, one. I think. Oh, R is still there. Okay. Let's count. C U M 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, C U M 3 and P T U. Okay. So total length of computer is 8. So let's give at here 8. Now here I execute one more time. So see at here Microsoft programming it's the display. So this is the string here this is the start here length. So whatever the length you have given so according to length that replace the uh, add, replace or add the string. And here after this the part of add the string. So let's uh, take one more example. So I'm going to copy and here Let's paste it down and here after in place of this all. So in first single code, I'm going to write to SQL tutorial. SQL to your T O R I A tutorial. Here after let's give A. So here SQL tutorial. So here I'm giving the length 13 here a uh, comma and that replaced by uh, length is 1 here a starting value 13 and here I'm going to replace by so at I'm going to write nice language nice language now at here if you count this or uh, this also total or uh, length will come 13 so 13 and here or uh, that or uh, that sorry so total here characters are 13 here length 1 here in place of 
oh, total and 13. So that is a nice language. So let's execute that. So see at here SQL tutorial. So at here it found 13. So at the 30 position that replaced oh, at here. So 30 position A is there. Okay. Oh, so SQL tutorial A is there at 13 position. So that here it is displaying noise language. SQL tutorial. Nice language. So let's give add here S O oh, S space between oh, at this position. Now execute here. So see at here SQL tutorial. Nice here yeah, space language. So A is not there here. Yeah. So if you count 3, 4 here, yeah, or oh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So at 30% A is there. So yeah, at this position 13. So here yeah, replacement string or add a string, nice language, add here, add it. So this is the one example here. Yeah. So this is the thing extra function. And here yeah, by using extra function, I'm going to I wanna uh, display this kind of output. So add here the input to table is this one. And here input table I forget to give add here. So the input to table is this one. So this the uh, this is the input table and I wanna I wanna make the output in this format. So let's do that by using a stop function. So add here or uh, selecting. So I'm going to show you first my table is. So employee is my table. And here let's uh, select from employee table ID. And here after going to select name. And here after going to select DOB. So these three columns are selected. Now here after let's use a stop function. So I'm going to apply the stop function on location here yeah. or oh, at location column so distinct and here after let's give comma and here yeah, plus for concatenation let's give location now here after from employee a and p l o y employee so add here let's give the uh, table alias to Now here after where clause. So add here or uh, t2 dot. So I will select id to compare here after t1. So t1 dot id. Now here after let's give for xml. xml and here xml let's give path. And here, a uh, single code, single code, and here, a uh, close, and here, comma, one, comma, one. And here, after single code, here. Yeah. Now, let's give the alias as call. Now, from here, uh, give the table name from a uh, employee. And give the alias t1. And here let's give group by and here uh, id going to make group here after name in one group here after or uh, dod in one group. So if you execute to this all here, so I'm getting the expected output New York, uh, New Jersey, here New York, it's all on expected output. So this is the things. So let's understand how the query work. So I will select ID name DOB. So this is the order query. So first I'm going to make one part of order query. So add here this is the order query part. Here select from. So here this is the order query part. So here auto query part. So if you execute to this auto query, so you will get the output this form. So add your pause to that select ID name DOB from T1 and your group by that making 
uh, here ID name so that here all the duplicate records animated by using group by and here this is the inner query so if you execute this inner query so I'm getting this output so if you want to add here ID so you can do that so if you execute the same query so see here the ID is the display so let's the copy here this format now if you execute this two query so see at here so add here I'm applying add here where clause t2 dot id so t2 dot so this t2 is the inner query part so t2 dot id so when that font one add here so one this value one is trying to uh, make the condition so at here t2 dot id value is one here t1 dot id value is one so this value is one and here after for xml path so about the xml path i will discuss in my later video here if I'm going to uh, so uh, see at here one one applied so one here or uh, this the I applied to location on California so at here one part is is now California so you can apply one for one so this is now at here New Jersey and here next is North Carolina and you have to like that to or uh, that to compare three columns at here three so three is in one group here three three so three is for at here California and two for here Oklahoma. So like that to that to make or uh, that to match the condition if condition is matched in for XML. So let's see about the for XML also. So about the for XML, let's the write to simple query select and here a uh, single quote and here a uh, location. So location column going to use here uh, from employee table so employee table here after uh, for xml for xml add here close here close single code single code now if you execute to this query so for xml here i forget to give path so let's execute now so what output i'm getting so see at here i'm getting this output so this is the output i'm getting here so if you execute this query so this query is now this format add here this format and if you execute for xml so for xml now converted into this format so that here if you uh, miss id id match okay so id for add here or uh, this is the id so add here or uh, that make one group so add here inner query and outer query that make in one group uh, so that uh, if you execute here or uh, this audio query so here see so new jersey here this is a uh, new jersey or uh, new york north carolina so that in one group and after applying this for xml so for xml or uh, the use of for xml so whatever this value that uh, are getting from here so this is the id of one okay this is the id of one this is the id of two this is the id of three so one uh, employee id one so this now converted into the one uh, at this format so this is the part of uh, add here employee id one and here this is the part of employee id two employee so when i'm using where clause so where clause is the filter so first uh, uh, that uh, display employee id so id1 values here and that apply xml here after in id2 here apply xml and here uh, id3 then that apply xml so this is the use of xml so whenever that font this value so this value is now converted into there so in XML, you uh, it's not necessary. See if you don't give for uh, at here bracket. So see at here what I'm getting. So at here row. So first uh, uh, at this part, let's give at here. Let's eliminate here this part. Okay. So if you execute this query. So see at here. This is the one row one part. Okay. It's the row one part. Let's make that bigger. So this is the all our row one part. So add your row one part. So add here the condition is or uh, t2 dot 
so t2 dot here or id and t1 dot id so one one match then here this is the output of one part and this is the output of two part row id2 and here uh, and here row id3 part so this is the use of xml and this is the use of xml or uh, str function in microsoft so str function is here so till this this is the s string here a start sorry till this Stop function. So this is the S string here. This is the S start here length and here add a string or uh, uh, a space. Okay, not a space blank something. So if you execute here, so that here it's a display this. Now if you give out your bracket bracket and inside bracket must be some. No, this is in right format. Execute that. Okay, no any space. In path, no any space. So see, here getting the expected output. So ID is now one per place, and here ID two is the now second ID one is one part, ID two is in one part, ID three is the one part. So execute this query. So see at here now that combine ID ID match. So now win that one or uh, ID ID match Jersey New York North Korea. So this is match. So that display at this place. And here for three California this place and uh, for two um, Oklahoma this place. So these are the things about stuff functioning Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.